Hello and welcome back to AGB Art. Today we'll be doing a dirty pour cup of acrylic paint on a glass face. If you enjoy the video, please press like and subscribe to my channel. I picked up this medium sized glass face from my local thrift store and I'm using rubbing alcohol and paper towel to wipe off the oils from my fingerprints. You need to get the oil off so the paint will adhere properly. I'm reusing a styrofoam plate that I poured a vase on before. And here you can see I stacked a bunch of red Solo cups so that when I turn the vase over on top of these cups, the rim of the vase is not right up against the plate. I'm going to layer all of my colors in this cup, and I'm using tube paints for the most part, which I bought at Michael's. You can also buy them at Hobby Lobby or Joann's, or you can get them online. I'm using a Valspar sample. That's the turquoise that's coming up. That came from Lowe's hardware store, and it was on the mist tint table. I'm ready to layer the colors in my cup. The first color that you put in your cup will be the last color that pours. My paints are very thick and they layer nicely in this cup. Once I finish layering all the colors, I'm adding a couple of colored paints to that homemade split cup that I don't actually use on the vase. I learned the trick of this split cup from another YouTube artist who used black and white. And when he used them in the split cup, the black and white didn't mix and become gray. They stayed separate. I'm putting a bit more of the purple in the dirty cup. And just topping off with some turquoise. I'm almost finished layering all of my colors in the cup. And unfortunately, I don't realize at this point that I don't have enough paint in that cup. And I'm getting ready to pour the paint and realize that you, my viewer, cannot see the entire vase, so I just have to adjust there. I'm going to start pouring the colors, and because this video is sped up, you're seeing it quicker. But you can see just ribbons of color come out, and I do a circular motion and a curly curlicue motion. I'm trying to get the colors to pour and not be straight vertical lines. Now I'm stopping to let the paint come down the sides and I'm just adding the bottom of the cup, hoping that that paint covers the entire vase. Sometimes I'll take a popsicle stick and just sort of help it drip down the side and then I make a curly like design in the bottom so the bottom stays really pretty. Here's my big mistake. I didn't make enough paint and so I'm pouring turquoise on top of that gorgeous design and I'm about to lose it. I'm really hoping at this point that I can create another dirty cup to bring that original design back. I'm squeezing out every ounce of paint that I can find to remake the dirty cup and re-pour it. Now I'm starting to like these more subtle lines 
and I really like the gold in the dark. I'm going over to get a glove because I realize the paint is not covering the neck of the vase. So I'm going to dab paint up from the bottom of the plate and just dab my finger onto the glass face to get it covered. I'm starting to play with some designs here and I'm dabbing my finger in the darker drip off paint and bringing it back up onto the vase. Just trying to get some contrast in color. I'll take my glove off in a minute and I'll start using the popsicle sticks to add color directly from the cup to the vase. There with the purple, these are sort of diagonal lines. I really like the bold contrast, but I still want to make the lines look a little natural. I really like this gold. It's so thick that it's not dripping vertically and it's staying where I put it. It's really going to make this face look stunning. It's going to take at least 10 days for all of this paint to dry and cure before I do a spray glossy varnish on the vase. I'm really just piddling around, adding color here and there, trying to get a nice composition. This is what the vase looked like that I wished the design had stayed. And this is the final product. It's not exactly the same, but it is pretty darn good looking. And I'm super pleased with it. See these drips on the bottom? You need to take your finger and wipe around, or you can use a popsicle stick. This helps keep the paint on the vase. The drips end up a gravity magnet and just pulls more paint off. So you wanna be sure that rim is smooth and they will stop dripping after about 10 minutes or so. I hope you enjoyed my video and that you'll come back. Be sure to press like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.